Climate change is one of the largest challenges humanity is facing. While our efforts to control industrial emissions are moving forward, a huge amount of CO2 emissions remain beyond our control. These emissions include, for example, waste, land use, pipeline leaks and transportation. What if we could harness these emissions and use the carbon for the production of chemicals and fuels? Scientists at VTT are developing DACU, a process that combines direct air capture and CO2 conversion in a single reactor. So the concept of the process works in two stages. In the first stage, the CO2 is captured from the air to this uh, one single unit. And in the second stage, renewable hydrogen is fed to the system or the process to produce uh, chemical intermediates for chemical and fuel production. The DAKU team has developed a polymer that is able to efficiently absorb the captured CO2. We make material that, that is highly porous and, and thus has a lot of surface. The, then the surface will be available for the gas fast to react with, with, with the material. And this is, this is a key in, in, in all CO2 absorption that, that you need to have material that has good contact with the gas when it, it's getting absorbed. Once the CO2 is absorbed, the carbon and oxygen atoms need to be pulled apart in order to make new chemicals from the carbon. However, CO2 is a highly stable molecule that normally requires high reaction temperatures to reduce. The DACU team has another chosen approach. So we chose the non-thermal plasma, which means that we have an electrified uh, chemical reaction or chemical reactor. Uh, that enables the conversion of CO2 with this co-reactant hydrogen at room temperature. The DACU team has an ambitious goal. The ultimate goal of this project is to, just to put it simple, is to take the atmospheric CO2, put it into our device, and in the output we would get hydrocarbons, valuable chemical intermediates like, uh, like hydrocarbons, uh, methane or carbon monoxide that can be reprocessed or further processed to more valuable chemicals and fuels. The long-term vision of the team is to design a process that could be coupled with renewable energy, enabling the efficient production of sustainable, fossil-free hydrocarbons.